G'day guys, it's Al here from Al and Imo Handmade and today I'm going to show you how to build this DIY timber grazing board. This project is great for anyone who loves to entertain and is also just a great gift idea leading up to Christmas. For this project I used a piece of 170 by 30 mil messmate and a couple of scrap pieces for the timber stands. The first thing I did was measure my piece of messmate and cut it in half. My piece was just over 2 metres so this was perfect as we wanted to make the board 1 metre in length. For the step by step instructions and measurements for this project head to alanimo.com.au I then arranged my timbers to get the best looking join and made sure my join would be nice and tight. Once I was happy, I glued and clamped my pieces together, making sure the boards were flush the whole way along. Once dried, I removed the clamps and gave the board a good sand with 80 grit sandpaper. I used my belt sander, but an orbital sander or hand sanding paper would also do fine. I used a lid from my glue bottle to trace the pattern on each corner. Next, I routed the top edge with my bullnose bit all the way around and then changed my route a bit for the handle cutouts. For this part, I used a mushroom bit with a guide. I then gave the whole thing a good sand with 120 grit sandpaper. Next, I found some pieces for the stand and cut them to the same length and sanded them with 120 grit. Then I clamped and glued the blocks to the center of the top pieces. Once dry, I removed the clamps and scraped off the remaining glue with a chisel. I then sealed everything with a satin finish fitters hard wax oil. Once dry, I gave everything a light sand with 240 grit and did a second coat. This gives it a really silky smooth finish. And that's it. The next thing to do is invite some friends around and load it up with delicious things or give it as a beautiful handmade Christmas gift. You can access the step-by-step -step instructions for this project and more at alanimo.com.au and make sure to hit subscribe or sign up to our mail list to receive these DIY projects straight to your inbox. See you next Friday for part two of Imo's flower press project as part of our Christmas gift series. Catch you later.